Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in Baga and I'm going to be giving you guys a situation update for most of you who are coming here for the month of June or July so you know what to expect. And of course, for the other rest of you who are not coming, you can see what it's like here in Goa during these times. So anyway, let's go and check out the beautiful Baga beach here in Goa. Okay guys, so before we reach to the beach, I'm just going to show you guys the road leading up to the beach so i can show you what is open right now so you guys have an idea of like what shops are open and stuff so at the moment most of the shops are still open here so usually they used to close in the month of june but uh, surprisingly this year the shops are still open here so it's not like before in the sense you know it's still off season here in uh, the month of june so there is a few shops that are open here and there but there's no big crowds like before if you see if you have come here to baga before you've probably seen this road completely packed but now there's just a few people here and there and there's not much people on the roads but you'll see some few tourists here and there so on the left here we will be reaching towards the famous brito's restaurant which is here on the left and then we also have the saint anthony's restaurant which is open during the whole off season so no matter when you come here in the off season these things will be open so if you come to baga these will be available to you so what we are going to do now is we are going to park here and then i'm going to go and show you guys the beach but just to show you the shops here as well are open still a lot of the shopping from which was here on this side has closed but the remaining shops on the left here are still here so we'll go and check on the beach what is there like the shacks and everything else this is the bike parking area here so i'm just going to park my bike and then show you guys the beach situation okay so i just parked my bike and it's 20 rupees the same bike parking rates here for bike parking and of course the car parking is still available here so as you can see there is still a lot of people that are here today is a weekday still the crowd happens to be here but uh, the thing on the beach will be quite different compared to what we have seen in our previous videos here if you've seen here they're already ready for the rains so today very fortunately it stopped raining for a little bit uh, then I came in out here and thought of showing you guys what it's like right now so 50 rupees for corn here so this restaurant also fisherman's nook is always open during the whole uh, monsoon season so if you ever come during monsoon here and you want a restaurant where you can have some beers or whatever on the beach which is a cheaper option is of course the option here which is the fisherman's nook they also have hookah which is very reasonable i think it's around five six hundred rupees for the hookah so as you can see here all the shacks that used to be here have completely gone so it's completely empty with no shacks or anything but as you can see there's a good amount of crowd today so there's a lot of people here so we'll just zoom in and check out the crowd situation so yeah there are a few people here not few but yeah quite a lot but you do usually during monsoon you don't have a lot of crowd here but today has happens to have a good amount of people and monsoon time now the tide has gone very low today uh, sometimes you'll have the tide that comes right up here so just to give you guys a look around uh, you know for the people who are coming as I mentioned you know so you know what to expect here during the monsoon time it's also very nice to go across that side which is the area over there which is called the Baga Creek and you can sit there of course don't take any drinks there because there's always police that come over there so don't take any drinks there but if you want to sit or click some good photos then that place is very beautiful here during the monsoon time so people are still allowed to go into the water but only very limited you cannot go very far so you can just go like maybe 20 feet into the water there then they will ask you to get out of the water if you go any further on there are lifeguards everywhere and yeah so see the amount of crowd so there's a good decent amount of crowd today here but as you can see 
all the shacks that were on the beach, the music, the beach beds, everything is gone. There is no water sports or anything. <laughs> this girl's shoes got washed away. So yeah, there is a good amount of crowd. On. Imagine this is a weekday, so weekends you would see most probably double of this crowd. But it rains quite a lot in between. So to get a beach day like this is quite special uh, as you can see there's a lot of dark rain clouds all around so you know any moment it will rain but for the last two three hours it has been nice uh, weather for us here so there's a lot of crowd that is here at the moment all the way till the Kalangut beach so I'm just going to show you guys what it's like this side so this is of course the St. Anthony's restaurant Britos is open they have like a candlelight dinner in the evenings here if you want to come on the beach and enjoy some candlelight dinner when it's not raining but most of the times you'll have to run inside when it's raining so you know it's always best to get a place inside uh, St. Anthony's has karaoke nights here which is a lot of fun and they also have a DJ in the evenings uh, Britos is also has karaoke and they have music but there's no DJ party kind of thing but St. Anthony's if you want to party in the evenings it's a lot of fun I come here quite often uh, wow look at this guy so besides the uh, if you see the clouds on this side then you see this side which is so beautiful here right now so wow such beautiful blue skies so whenever it stops raining here in Goa during the monsoon season the sky turns into this beautiful blue color Wow, Britos is actually quite full and some of these uh, restaurants like the Lakshman restaurant has put their beach beds right next to the restaurant and of course if it rains they'll remove them or you know they have those beach umbrellas kind of options there uh, many of the other shacks are, have the chairs out here so if you want to you know use the chairs and chill out here it will be quite a lot of fun so when it rains then <laughs> you'll have to run there is no other place you'll have to probably run to the shacks here but as you can see the crowd all the way till there Tito's and all the clubs in the main Baga area are open but yeah so what we are going to do is I'm just going to go back now and then we'll walk through the crowds and I'll show you guys what it's like from there Okay guys, so we are back in among the crowd. As you can see here, most of the people that are here are families and a lot of couples and families. So it's nice to see a lot of families here in Baga. Usually we'll have a lot of groups of guys, but now during this season, I expect to see a lot of families here. Uh, it's a nice time, you'll see a lot of, you know, newlywed married couples here. And you know, the crowd is very decent and wow so the water is super super rough right now so i would definitely not recommend going anywhere deep into the water but yeah so we are going to go a little bit towards the baga beach sign that side and i'm going to show you something which is very cool that side <laughs> so nice people are taking photos here so it's very nice when it stops raining because the skies become very beautiful as I mentioned before and just to show you how amazing it is here right now so you guys should feel like you're taking a walk with me on the beach and enjoying this experience as well so you know I've, I've come out after many days since it has been raining all the time here so there in the distance is the Baga beach uh, sign and the fun thing over here is if you come here in the evenings you'll find a lot of locals who are fishing here which is a very fun experience to see because they catch a lot of fish with these nets uh, handheld nets here so there's actually a lot of them all around so we'll just walk up so that this over here is called the Baga Creek you do not want to fall in there because the water is so fast and it will just drag you into the sea so these are the fishermen 
Yeah, so I don't know if you can notice, but see how fast the water goes. Yeah, there in the distance, he threw the net. And see now he'll pull in the net and we'll see if he caught anything. So yeah, this is one of the techniques. Uh, the locals come here during the monsoon season. You'll see a lot of locals. See, there's guys here, there's people that side. And you know, we'll see if they caught anything. So Alere? Huh? So yeah, he didn't get anything here. So let's just see how he throws the net. So just watch how he'll throw it. See. Wow. So they just throw because what happens is most of the fish just come in because of the tides as you can see the water is so you know strong here the fish just uh, get swept into this area here so this is like the main area where the fish get swept into so all the fishermen come in here so the fish try to swim up the creek here and as well as that side oh sheesh so yeah i just got stuck in the middle of the water suddenly so you see this water is gone all there so my pants got completely wet <laughs> but yeah fun experience so yeah guys this is what baga is like right now and i hope you enjoyed this video but yeah so let me just show you a little bit more so this is the creek area here and i was mentioning if you guys want to go try out that place as well so yeah guys this is what baga is like right now so guys that is it from here in baga i hope you enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe and i'll be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in goa